In this class we are going to discuss about counters. As the name indicates this counter is going to uh, use as a digital counter it is going to count the number of pulses. So, here you can see some interesting points about counters. So, see the points here counter is a digital device used to count number of pulses and it also be used as frequency divider. So, I will discuss this frequency division in later. So, counter generally used for counting purpose. So, which count it will take means it will take number of pulses, which pulses means whatever clock pulses we are giving, so it will take that count. So, for each state processing we are taking one clock pulse, one clock cycle, so that pulses it is going to count. So, now counter can count in two ways, so for example it may count from 0 to n that means 0, 1, 2, up to n that is called as up count or it may count in downward direction also that means it will starts from n in uh, keep on decreasing like n n minus 1 and n minus 2 like that and 1 and 0 like this. So, where we are using this up count and down count. So, for example, if you designed a up counter in next classes we are going to design up counter and down counter. So, where we are using this counters. I will give you a simple example of up counter where we are uh, using this up counter means simply in EVMs you know electronic voting machines or anything like that or if you uh, went to any shopping mall you can uh, see software or anything there itself. So there you need to add uh, you need to add extra to the uh, uh, already uh, have an price you need to add extra thing or uh, in EVMs for example in voting machines. For example, one vote is already there, for example, another person came and uh, they entered uh, for same party that vote is uh, needed to add for that. So that is up counting 0, 1, 2, 3 like that, that is the application one of the application of up counter. So coming to down counters where we are down counting. So the uh, exact application of down counters we can see in uh, space related applications. When uh, if you see any missile or rocket launching there we, uh, we are going to see this down counting they will start from a point and uh, they are going to down that count and uh, when 0 is there they will uh, start launching. So like this we are going to use this up counter and down counter in real time applications and in next classes we are going to design this up counter and down counter and coming to present count of the counter for example counter that may be a up counter or down counter presently it uh, whatever the value is in present count is there that will defines the state of the counter that means for example anyone uh, came to you and uh, asked you about what is the state of counter state of counter is nothing but present count value of the counter whatever the present count value is there that is nothing but state of the counter. So next coming to uh, uh, design generally counter is the integration of flip flops similar to shift register as we saw in last classes also we saw so many shift register. So it, it, this is also in that manner uh, only that means it is a bunch of flip flops it is a interconnection of flip flops. So counter contains set of flip flops. For example, if you want to uh, assemble a n bit counter, if you want to count n bits, so you require n flip flops. Uh, that means uh, how many number of uh, uh, counting you require. So for example, if you need 4 bit counter, then you require 4 flip flops, 5 bit counter requires 5 flip flops like that. So you require, uh, you require n flip flops to design n bit counter. And if you take an any n bit counter to count n bits, it needs to pass through 2 power n states. That means any n bit counter contains 2 power n states. How many states? How many counts it will have means 2 power n states it may have. So for example, if you take in any 2 bit counter, so the number of states, states may be 2 square. That means it, it need uh, needs to pass through 4 states. For example, any 3 bit counter if you take in for that 
So, 2 cube states will be there that means 8 states will be there. So, if uh, anyone asked you what is the state frequency, what is the each state frequency of a counter, frequency in the, uh, why they are asking that frequency. So, why they are asking this frequency means in a particular state how much duration, how much duration the counter is going to be in. That means for example, it is counting number of pulses that means like this it is counting for each state one pulse. So, for example, how much duration it is having with, uh, with which frequency it is going uh, that means so that can be defined by using this formula each state frequency is equivalent to so total frequency of the counter divided by number of states. So here the number of states are 2 power n for a n bit counter. This is the formula for n bit counter. For example, if you have only 2 bit counter then you can take total frequency by so 4. For example, if you have 3 bit counter the equation changes like total frequency divided by 8 like that. So, if they asked any each state frequency, what is the state frequency of that counter? They are asking for uh, each state about frequency, how frequent that states exist, then you need to go for this formula. So, this is uh, about short introduction about counters and now counters are classified uh, according to uh, clock, clock cycle. So, here uh, we are giving clock pulses as input to the counter in previous also uh, as we are using flip flops we need to give clock pulses. So, according to the clock pulse given. So, these uh, um, uh, counters are classified into two types, the two types are asynchronous counters and synchronous counters. So, this classification is under uh, clock pulse. So, that means uh, 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 represent it is taking the reference of clock pulse that is it. For example, if you are having any similar clock pulse in uh, each and every flip flop in a counter. For example, your counter is having 4 flip flops. Each flip flop is connected with similar clock pulse. So, then this is called as synchronous clock pulse. For example, each flip flop is connected with a different period or a different clock pulse, then that is called as asynchronous uh, counter. So, we are having so many asynchronous counters and we are having some important synchronous counters. So, that design also we will see in the next classes. So, this is about small introduction of counter. Counter will just count number of pulses we are taking. So, next uh, it is used as frequency divider also and it will divide total frequency with each and every state. So, now counter can count in upward direction or downward direction and present count of the counter is nothing but state of the counter and counter contains set of flip flops. For example, if n bit counter is there it requires n flip flops and 2 power n states. If you want each state frequency then you can go for this formula that is total frequency divided by number of states which will gives you the each state frequency of that counter. So, according to the clock pulse these are classified into asynchronous and synchronous. Asynchronous means so different clock pulse for each flip flop, synchronous means same clock pulse for each flip flops.